Hello, I'm Ridwan, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town, South Africa. Today I'm going to show you three ways to solve the error configurations overlap that can happen when setting up an Amazon Simple Storage Service trigger in AWS Lambda. Let's get started. Option one is to edit the old notification to point to the new function. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon S3 Console then select S3 from the list. Here you can see a list of the S3 buckets in your account. Choose your bucket. Choose the Properties tab and scroll down to Event Notifications. You can select a notification and then choose Edit. Scroll down to the destination and replace the Lambda ARM with the new Function ARM. This stops the notifications from going to the old Lambda function and sends any new notifications to your new function. Option two is to use the event types or prefix and suffix options to uniquely define the notification. Stay on the properties tab of the S3 bucket and choose create notification. Enter the event name. Use a combination of event types, prefix or suffix options to uniquely define the notification. Choose a new Lambda function as a destination. Repeat these tests for any other Lambda functions required. Note this option will call either the old Lambda function or the new Lambda function, but not both. The Lambda function called will be based on the unique event types, prefix or suffix combination. Option three is to use Amazon Simple Notification Service to call both old and new Lambda functions at the same time. First, navigate to the Amazon SNS console. Choose Topics and then select a topic you want to use. Choose Edit and then under Access Policy, edit the policy to add the following code block. Choose Save Changes. On the topic page, choose Create Subscription. Under Protocol, select AWS Lambda and add the Lambda ARN. Choose Subscribe. Repeat these tests for any other Lambda functions required. Navigate to the S3 console. Select the bucket and choose the Properties tab. Under Event Notifications, choose Create Event Notifications. Choose the prefix, suffix, and event types as required. Under Destinations, select the SNS topic and choose your SNS topic. This option sends the notification to SNS, which in return sends the notification to any subscribers. So now you know three ways to solve the configurations overlap error that can happen when setting an S2 trigger in Lambda. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <music>